All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, before I get into the main topic of the video, I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, the sweet peppers that I aggressively topped two weeks ago now. Uh, so this is two weeks progress. Uh, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go check out the last video I uploaded. Uh, basically, um, these sweet peppers on this tray over here was just getting a little too leggy for me, so I uh, aggressively topped um, a lot of them down. Um, some of them had uh, no leaves after I topped them, and uh, I just wanted to give you an update on how they were recovering. Um, as you can see here, like there's, there's new shoots, new leaves, um, a lot of new growth is coming in. Some are doing a lot better than others, um, but some are catching up. I mean, sometimes, uh, as you can see here, that uh, new growth will come out and just die off, but it's okay because there's uh, some more growth coming out of the side there, and this is happening in quite a few cases, but uh, overall, they're doing pretty well. I mean, a lot of them are coming back really, really strong. Like you can see this one here, um, that one in the corner, um, if you watch the video last time you see that this didn't have anything on it now it's really starting to come back so i just wanted to give you an update on that i also kind of just wanted to give you a quick tour of what's going on in the grow room here um up here is a lot of my uh, vegetables my uh, squash my zucchini um i have some cucumbers up here over here i got some herbs over here are my 2020 pepper in a can challenge participants uh, those are looking pretty strong over in the back there is my son's watermelon that he wanted to grow and that looks like it's it's getting pretty healthy um obviously my overwinter plants down here if you remember i trimmed those down but those came right back up under here i have some ground cherries and tomatoes down here my infamous banchi that's looking really good and my uh 2020 pepper lover community contest plant yeah that's pretty much it let's get back into this video okay what i'm going to be doing is feeding my plants um I started these plants, if you can remember, on uh, New Year's Eve of 2019, and today is March 9th, 2020. Uh, it's been about two months since uh, the plants have uh, started, and I still got another two months left before they move outside. So this is the midway point. This serves as a good time to give it a good feeding. I usually only do this once while the peppers are indoors, um, and as they go outside and as the growth cycle continues, I'll start to feed at a more regular basis. But right now, the plants are still relatively young. Uh, a lot of them look healthy. Um, so what I'm basically doing is I'm just boosting the nutrients that are in the soil um, currently. A lot of uh, potting soil that you see in the big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's will tell you that you know it will continually feed your plants for six months, nine months, a year, uh, whatever have you. But it's all relative based on how big uh, your growing pot is. These pots here are three and a half by three and a half, and there's not really much soil, uh, you know, compared to how long these plants are going to be in here. There's going to be a lot of roots. There's going to be a lot of uptake of nutrients that these things are going to need to live for another two months before they move outside. Um, when the plants move outside, I'll have uh, that soil already pre-treated with a lot of organic nutrients, and uh, they'll start to thrive when they go outside. But in the meantime you want to make sure that these plants are, just are staying um, strong and healthy. Um, this also gives you an opportunity to really get a good look at each and every one of your plants, especially if you're someone like me who grows a lot, as you can see over here. Um, you know, you come down maybe once or once a day or once every other day and you just get a, give a good watering. So you don't really get to get an up close look. Um, so this gives you the opportunity to really look at the leaves and, see if there's anything that uh, is giving you any signs of problems. This looks overall pretty healthy. Um, it could use a little less watering. As you can see, some of the leaves are starting to crinkle up and fold up. So, But that's okay, though. It's not that big a deal. Um, basically, how I'm going to feed it is I'm going to use a dry uh, fertilizer, Osmocote Flower and Vegetable, as a 14-14-14 NPK ratio. If you don't know what that is, it's basically nitrogen, phosphate, and potash are the main ingredients. Um, you know, the, the, the key nutrients that these plants need to survive and to grow and to uh, give you the results that you're desiring. I'm also going to be uh, watering them in with a little bit of uh, hydroponic nutrients in my little uh, spray bottle here. So basically, I'm just giving these things a nice reset, a refresher. Um, and help them really buckle down and start to really focus their energy on putting up some uh, vegetative growth. So when I when it comes time for me to take them outside, they'll be able to hit the ground running. Um, so basically, like I say, 
I have the dry fertilizer here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the base of the plant. I don't know, maybe like 10 or 20 little pebbles, as you can see there. Then I take uh, some fresh potting soil, just like so. Pat it down real tight. Then I take my hydroponic water. And I just water it in. The water activates the dry uh, fertilizer. And basically I'm just going to pat it down really nice. Make sure the leaves aren't touching the soil as much as as best as you can um, because that is what kind of promotes some uh, fungus growth is when the leaves get too wet um, but yeah that's pretty much it and then I just add it right back into the grow tray with everything else and as you can see I did it with every single one of them every all the soil and all my little pots here look nice and fresh and clean and like I said this basically is just rejuvenating your plants getting it ready for its uh, stretch run as we get ready as the weather starts to warm up um, and we're going to move them outside. These things are going to be healthy. They're going to thrive. And we're going to have nothing but success. Uh, but that's pretty much how I feed. Um, like I said, I did it for all of them. It's very important that you take a good look at all of your plants. Um, for example, I have one plant that was hiding here in the corner that's struggling a little bit. Um, maybe a little too much light in certain areas, as you can see here. Um, it could be anything, really. I'm not really a botanist or anything, so I don't... I don't really know for sure, but I mean, you can see that it looks like some type of light scalding or it could be a, a molding issue. But like I say, it's it's really not that not that big a deal. Um, I'm just going to pluck that leaf off. I, I don't want a sick leaf really hanging around on the plant for too long. So, um, But yeah, like I say, do this to every one of your plants. It, it might sound weird, but you want to try to get you know as close as you can with all your individual plants and... It helps. It's going to help you be successful down the line here. This is a Scotch Brain, a super hot variety. And I want these things to be successful when they go outside or when I give them away to somebody else. I want them to be successful. So um, I highly recommend that you do these with your plants. If you're someone like me who has a short growing season outside and you have to keep your plants indoors for an extended period of time. So see, this is something that's kind of desirable. I just wanted to show you. See how the plant is nice and low? That's kind of desirable because you want it to be wide this is going to be a really strong plant once i bring it outside moa scotch bonnet tails you don't want the plants to be leggy like these ones over here i mean it's okay to be up and up high but the desired uh way that you want these plants to be is nice and low and thick and bushy um, this is the ideal scenario so but yeah thanks for watching uh, i'll keep you updated uh, like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time